Hi, I'm Elias Guerrero, and I go to Cream Prep. What was it? <laughs> this piece is entitled, This is an Ode. <coughs> this is an ode to my father's hands, from the dry skin that collects around the white nail to the strength material under the nail that never goes away. The fact that my dad works with his hands can be clearly seen by his dry, cracked fingers that never managed to get better. The strange softness of his palms that prove to show that somewhere down in there is a spot for his family. That's around the heavy with distress of being a parent that can almost never see what he grew up around. After all, nobody came with him to live a new life. He has no idea what he's doing because he was neglected as a child, forgotten in cars by the people that were supposed to care for him instead of drinking the worries away. From the people that were supposed to accept his decisions to migrate on his own to an entirely new society. How does a manage to start somewhere from no foundation to begin with? To see his struggles played out through his hands is no easy feat for he is never willing to talk about the times life was so dry that it manifested into his skin. Never willing to talk about the times life was so dark that it manifested under its own protection and into a place that affected him deeply. Never willing to talk about the times life was so heavy it cracked his hands in the process. And now I have to live on with perfectly soft and fragile hands that at the end of the day aren't strong enough to handle what his did. Even though they're meant to, my hands aren't meant for the physical tasks of which my father sacrificed his life for. Every month, I have the same conversation with my parents. It's an interview about my nails that are too long. To have these nails means a choice that I haven't had before, a choice to have what I want or to be like my dad. Holding tools that model children's toys that all the boys fought over seeing or can build the toughest house so the big bad wolf's whispers don't cause it to fall down. But these whispers don't simply destroy the exterior of the house, but hurts the protection that I once gave. The protection that gave me choice, the protection that gave me some sort of way to say no to when my conversation of my parents turns into what happened at school, to why I fight over the nails that are damaging to the very same people that built their shelter. But they don't realize that the big bad wolf didn't just come from my protection, but came from my soul. Last year, the struggle to maintain these nails got so bad that instead of only tools of strength, they, hold the, they held the tools of destruction, causing the, this protective skin to become so dry and cracked that the skin didn't mean anything. It didn't mean protection to where I needed it most, so instead, these tools of destruction cost my own destruction. I started to cut myself. So yes, Dad, it does hurt to have long nails because just like you, life got so tough that I cracked my fingers. Life got so dry that it's now around my nail in the form of my own skin. Although you repeatedly banter and bombard me with the fact that this isn't how a man is supposed to be, and that even though this man shouldn't live like this, I'm living. It's just not how you expected me to.